Oh boy, oh boy. So there I were, just sitting, doing whatever I do every evening in front of the computer and being like, ah, nice evening. I look out the window and it's going to go kaboom. So just look at this, look at this guy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. This is gonna be epic. So the light is just absolutely epic. So the sun is coming down and I just have a local cloud cover. So the horizon is free and that is absolutely the perfect, perfect, perfect conditions for those epic sunsets where the sun goes down and just like ignites the sky. Right now I have found this fairly simple composition. You may recognize this location from last summer where I got something similar just with another sky. This one here is definitely <laughs> something on its own. Settings wise it's super simple. I have the 16 to 35 millimeter on, 16 millimeter. I am all the way down by the ground. I'm focusing on the tree and I'm bracketing the photos to exposures in between, f16, ISO 100, and the shutter speed is whatever it is. The tree smack there in the middle, and then I get the clouds flaming up around it. Now, I'm also going to try the other side, because the clouds are just going to change like all the way around, and on the other side, the tree ought to be lit, so that ought to look really, really nice too. But this here is just like wide angle sunset photography. Epic wide angle sunset photography. Oh, perfect. So I've come over to the other side of the tree and yeah, as I said, it's lit by the sunset and it actually looks really, really nice. I'm on a field right now. I think it's fair enough. The corn, not corn, weed haven't really come up or anything like that. So I'm not hurting anything. Oh, the light is just fantastic. And ooh, right now a rainbow is forming. Ah. So. I will get that one from this angle here, maybe, if my camera wanna... Okay, great. New position. So, two great photos so far. If you haven't noticed, I was a bit frantic this evening as I wanted to get photos of the tree from several different angles while at the same time recording this vlog. This always comes with the risk of compromising production quality. Less b-roll, no fancy drone video, cutting video too soon and forgetting to press record on my audio recorder. Which is the case for the next clip, so bear with me despite the horrible audio in the next clip, it will be worth it. Oh boy, I don't think you can ask for more. Seriously. Rainbow forming and I've placed myself just next to the tractor tracks in the field. So again, I'm really being careful not to step on any of the weed here in the field. Very, very careful. And oh, I have never experienced a sunset rainbow before in my entire career as landscape photographer. <laughs> I feel I'm wasting too much time talking with you guys, but Wow! <laughs> so worth it, so worth it getting out.
I need to get some horizontal photos too. And at the same time, look behind me here. Seriously, if I okay, I can't move the camera. <laughs> so let's do it like this. Oh, the sky is just going absolutely kaboom while this year is happening in this direction. Holy macaroni! I haven't changed anything about the settings. Settings exactly the same. F16 and ISO 100. I'm just not bracketing on this side because there's really no reason. Because as I am right down here, uh, the dynamic range of the photo is actually not that big. So, you know, no reason to break it. I'm actually even overexposing a little bit, so we just get as clean as a photo as possible to make overexposing by one stop. Oh my god, I'm getting an entire rainbow. Uh, I need to move. As I mentioned, it was the first time I've experienced a sunset rainbow, which was quite incredible and I was lucky to be in the great position I was. The horizontal photo here is quite the obvious one to show the entire rainbow. I did have to do a bit of editing in Photoshop to remove a forest in the left hand side of the photo. It was simply just pulling too much attention. I also really like the two vertical photos. I prefer the light on the left photo where the direct light from the sunset is lighting up the foreground and tree. However. The lanes in the foreground pulls your attention towards the rainbow, away from the tree and kind of out of the frame. This is why I prefer the composition on the right photo where the lanes also pull your attention towards the rainbow but contrary to the left photo, the rainbow is leading your eye back into the photo and frames the tree. So I am in a bit of a conundrum. The better light or the better composition? Let me know down in the comments what you prefer. If you want to learn about how I edit photos like these, be sure to enroll in my big Photoshop for Landscape Photographers post-processing course. I cover everything you need to know from the most basic such as actually using Photoshop and how the interface works, to the advanced techniques such as luminosity masks, and how to actually make your photos pop while still respecting the light and tones of the original photo. There is also a discount code in the description if you want to save a bit of money when you sign up. Now, I can only underestimate how absolutely important it is that you respect other people's uh, land when you're out photographing. So that is why I really try to stick to, well, not try, I do <laughs> stick to the tractor tracks in the field so I'm not ruining anything. Right now, I have found another composition here and yeah, pink clouds, blue sky, absolutely fabulous. Now, I'm not sure this here is the strongest composition I can come up with. Um, the only thing I've changed besides the composition is I've changed the settings a little bit. And that is because I figured out that the tree is moving a little bit too much in the wind. So instead of waiting for the wind to die down, I've upped the ISO and lowered the f-stop a little bit. So the immediate foreground will be a little bit blurred, which I think is fine. Um, and then I get the faster shutter speed so the tree won't be as blurred. And I think that works really well. I just need to get back to the first composition and get these epic <laughs> clouds. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, this is good.
So I've come back to the first position I was at. I think this is my favorite composition. The sun has come down and my estimated guess is that the light is fading now. I'm really just doing exactly the same as before. The wind has also died down. I have there's a little bit more rain in the air right now, so I have to like swipe and shoot, swipe and shoot. Uh, but as the sun has come down, the light is fading, and I'm just using more or less the same settings as before. I've gone down to like ISO 200. I think I can afford a little bit faster shutter speed, or a little bit slower shutter speed, and a little bit cleaner uh, base image to work with. And I am still bracketing. But yeah, <laughs> this sunset, boom! <laughs> This is here, this is exactly what you want. A big part of, of this process is of course when I come home and I've taken like, I don't know, five different photos here tonight is of course, I'm going to show them all in this video. There's also the curating process of it all. And that uh, that's what determines which one photo I prefer. I think I will probably go with the first vertical and then the vertical with the rainbow. I'm not entirely sure, I'm, I never am, but uh, yeah, I will let my light and composition experience decide that. And speaking of composition, if you want to learn more about composition, I have my two ebooks available down in the description. There's a light version of each of them if you want to check them out first before you buy. But uh, yeah, they have five star reviews from those who have actually. Uh, got the books, so th th that's probably something to learn there. I teach everything about like subject and depth and flow, and, and yeah, th there's so many things in those ebooks, and I put them all together afterwards. Super easy to understand, lots of photos to uh, pin, underpin, underline uh, my point. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Even though it was rather hectic, I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs>